it is important for us to understand that the source of the offering, the source of the seed that you are sowing is very important. God will never accept any offering. He will never accept any seed from a polluted man. And the Bible makes it clear in verse 7. It says, if thou doest well, shall thou not be accepted? It means Cain has not been doing well. Praise the Lord. Many of us, we, all, we believe that whenever we have committed any form of atrocity, we use our seeds to appease God. Whenever we have done anything wrong, we bring a very big offering to the presence of God. Beloved, you are only deceiving yourself. The Bible says, if thou doest well, your, then that is when your offering will be accepted. You cannot bring seed from the proceeds of fraud and bring it to the presence of God. God will never accept it. The church will collect it, but God will not accept it. They are two different things. Praise the Lord. You can do your Yahoo Yahoo. You can do whatever you want to do. As long as the pastor that you are bringing it to does not know and you are just bringing it to the altar, the church will accept it. They will collect it because it will be difficult for a pastor to start checking the offering bag and he will identify the money that is coming from a prostitute. Praise the Lord. But it is only God that will, that will understand that. It is only God that will either accept your offering or reject it. The source of your seed is very important. You cannot use your seed to wipe away your sins. It's not possible. You cannot bribe God with your seed. I want us to understand this clearly. So if you think that the source of your wealth is not clean, and you think that the church is a money laundering agent, you're only deceiving yourself because you will eventually end up destroying yourself with that kind of polluted seed. I pray the Lord will help us in the mighty name of Jesus. Another thing we need to consider whenever you are sowing is the ground that you are sowing the seed. You must be mindful of the place that you sow your seed. It's not everywhere you carry your seed to. It's not every place they call church that you sow your seed into. It's not every man of God that you see that you give your money to. There are some men, they are corrupt. If you plant into a corrupt life, they will give back a corrupt seed unto you. Fruit will not even come. They will give you back that corrupt seed and it will further destroy that person. I pray the Lord will help us in the mighty name of Jesus. So let's be mindful of where we take our seeds to. Let's be mindful of the kind of men that you sow into their lives. Let's be mindful of the kind of ministries that we sow into their lives. Many of us, we deceive ourselves. When the prophets come across you or you come across them, it's either way. You know, at times you will be walking gently on the street and somebody will walk up to you and they'll start telling you so many things about yourself. And really, many people, they are so gullible and they follow whatever they tell them. Somebody will tell you, take salt. Take salt. So, so, so amount of salt. Cook rice and go and give to beggars in Kano Street, or you go to Ikotu and give them, give them rice, give them salt. In fact, I see a lot of them, at when I go to Ikotu, or you go to, there's a place in Ebutemeta, Kano Street, and you see people, they come with bags, and they start giving them rice, cooked rice, give them rice, give them whatever. Beloved, you cannot transfer your problem to another person. 